hi guys welcome back so i'm here again with another makeup tutorial for you guys this one is different because we'll be switching from the white wedding look to traditional stroke engagement look i did this in class for my student for the last uh, makeup training for the year 2022 and they absolutely absolutely love it so i also have a video of how i created this fine gilly if you want to see that i will drop that as well so before further ado let's get started well if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so so for skin prep i skipped it in this video i will link um, the video in the description box so you can go watch it so for foundation i'm using this one from maybelline fit me and avo this foundation has too much yellow in it so we're going to tone it down with the maybelline uh, fit me foundation so just um watch me you know apply the foundation and also turn it down with the darker foundation So after that, I went ahead to contour the whole of her face using another shade of um, foundation, a darker shade of foundation. I cannot remember the foundation that I took, to be honest, but that's just warm, you know, the, the face up. I'm using the same brush that I used to apply her foundation to do the contour. All you need to do is just take a tissue and take out the foundation that you use and use it to do your contour. It's easy that way. So for blush, I took this shade from um, a lipstick palette. You can use any lipstick palette of your choice because they do the same thing to be honest. So just blend that, blend that in. For concealer to highlight, I'm using this one from L'Oreal in beige beige and Ellie Girl in medium beige. They are so much alike but different consistency. So I am going to mix that together. I like to sit for some minutes before I start blending it out. So how I blend my concealer is press it in and I start working my way back and forth, back and forth. That's how I blend my concealer and it's so easy for me to do that way. So yeah, uh, after I blend out this first um, concealer that I applied, I went ahead to use a lighter and more um, creamier um, concealer and that one is from Feroche. I think I don't know how to pronounce that but I will drop that in the description uh, but as usual so yeah this is it I can pronounce it Feroche, I believe in the shade 01 so I still use the same method as I blend the first um concealer that i applied so but majorly i am focusing on the inner corner because that's where i want um to be brighter so yeah so watch me blend and blend 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 so for the nose contour i'm using the same foundation that i used to balance the yellow foundation to contour her nose that's the Maybelline fit me foundation
So before I set my concealer, I like to go back and blend first to take out the creasing and I start setting. And the setting powder I use, I'm using is this one from ROCMA. So I use two methods for them. Remember, uh, I'm doing this for my students. So we're in class right now. So I use the beauty blender on that side and I'm using a brush on this on the uh, uh, English on the other side <laughs> so I'm using my students uh, makeup products in this video because uh, one of them asked a question like why is it that their makeup don't come out flawless like my own and they're using the same method that I taught them so is it because of the products they are using that is causing it or is the way they are applying it and I said it's your application you can make do with what you have so I am going to use your products today to show you guys uh, that is about your application not your products though sometimes products may affect it but not as bad as they are saying it so that's why we decided to use their products for this makeup so they can see that I can actually work with their product So this blush is from Blossom. I'm basically set, basically setting the the cream blush we applied earlier on with those two orange blushes. The first one I applied has like shimmer in it. This one is just a regular blush. This one is from Blossom Shy Girl. Honestly, I really love um, the packaging. To be honest, it is very very beautiful. So I'm basically setting my cream blush that I applied earlier on. For setting spray, I use this one from Kiss Beauty. I still use this Kiss Beauty and I love it. Moving on to moving on to eyebrow, I just set it with powder before I brush them upward. And this um tamer that I use, this one is from I don't know, is one of the students of uh, a brow tamer i don't like it it was too watery so i take tiny bit of it so it doesn't run you know um yeah i went ahead to take the carite brown uh gel pomade to um do her brows basically <laughs> oh my god So the concealer I'm using to clean up my eyebrow is uh, from Fer Fer Fera Gold, the one I used earlier on to highlight her um, under eye.
for the eyebrows please watch me do my thing i still owe you guys um eyebrow um tutorial i actually wanted to really be nice i don't want to put out you know something that's gonna be crappy and all of that so i'm taking my time to look for a better brows <laughs> to to do that tutorial for you guys i've not seen none though she has a very beautiful brows but you know she's not someone that i can assess easily i would have used her to um do the eyebrow tutorial for you guys so i'll look for a model that uh, has a very nice eyebrows and i'll definitely do that for you guys before the year runs out please pardon me so as usual i'm applying setting powder on the eye just to um catch any fallout when i start doing the eyeshadow so this is the eyeshadow base that i used vnh vnh <laughs> go ahead so you just saw it now that is the eyeshadow base that i use i just applied that all over the eyes before um all all over the lid before i start applying the eyeshadow and this is the eyeshadow palette that we'll be using in this video and it's from blossom so for the first look um it's a white wedding white wedding look and we wouldn't want too much colors on the eyes so we're going to be using cool colors and then i forgot to set my concealer that i used to highlight my brows uh before applying eyeshadow so this is me here trying to set the brow bone and wherever we have the concealers on so yeah moving back to applying our eyeshadow after that So I took this Kiss Beauty eyeshadow palette and that was the shade we concluded that we will use for the lead. So I'm just blending blending the primer first before applying the eyeshadow so it will not have any creasing. That's how we do it here, baby. <laughs> so yeah. so for the lips we used this palette right here and we did it off camera you guys have seen me do you guys have seen me do lip here 101 times and it's always nude 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 so yeah so i went ahead to smudge underneath her eyes because we were not going to be lining we're not going to be lining the um her waterline so we just wanted some color underneath the eyes so you know it can pop so i use some lashes from i use these lashes from Vuan beauty and it was giving volume mm -hmm. so i went back to that setting spray kiss beauty to 
further set the makeup. So I'm just pressing that setting spray into her skin. Please, if some skins do not accept that, please don't do it too, because the foundation will just follow the beauty blender. For gloss, I can't remember the, the gloss they gave to me again, but it was really nice. It's a lightweight gloss and I love it. I have this highlighter and I've been neglecting it. See, immediately I finish using this highlighter on this model, I ask my assistant to please look for my own and put it in my bridal bag. Please, oh, because what? Like, I used to underrate this highlighter. It's so beautiful. Like, can you see her nose? See, this highlighter is amazing. Like, can you see how that thing is popping? At this point, my students, they were like, uh, um, Madam, I don't know how you do it, though, but it's looking different from when I apply it. <laughs> so... I told them to start using a smaller brush to apply the highlighter so it will not be everywhere. So I popped some of the highlighter on her tear dot to brighten the eyes. Yeah. So after that, I went ahead to take out the eye pool from her eyes. Is the makeup artist's job, please take that out. Okay so yeah after that i went ahead to apply some mascara on her bottom lashes to pop it more you know so yeah we were done with this look at this point and i so much love how it turned out so now is the time to switch from white wedding look to traditional look i tied her gilly already and yeah at this point i am applying uh, a deeper brown on her crease and after that i applied black on her outer v black eyeshadow on her outer v now you want the eye to you know speak okay <laughs> so here i'm applying some glitter glue or you can call it pigment glue uh, after that i am pressing some of the pigment um on her eyes this one is reflecting pink gold silver it was really looking nice on ground like i promise you guys so yeah after that i applied a lighter gold on the tear dot lighter pigment on the tear dot, but it didn't show in this video i don't know why so now i'm just taking out the fallout from the lashes from underneath her eyes and guys we were done with the eyes now i am lining her waterline you know for the white wedding we did not line the eyes now we are switching it up baby so for the lips i wiped the first color out and i pat it dry then applied some powder uh, on the lips so it can be easy for me to line see it's a trick so grab that so using the same palette from blossom i applied the pink first and i started lining it with um bongodi purple i don't know but um this darker shade same pink family <laughs> and we were done with the lips i went ahead to clean the side of the lips and we were done you guys i love the way it turned out you guys i love the look if you learn a thing or two please drop a comment and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up share this video don't forget to subscribe that's the only way you can support this channel okay and uh, i'll see you guys in my next video but for now bye